I feel better and psyched off that. Oh good. It's the best roller coaster I've ever been on in my life. Hello everyone. Welcome back to this vlog series. This is number two of our Disney World trip. We are just heading off to Animal Kingdom today. So I'm wearing my Polynesian, I don't know, it kind of looks like it goes with Animal Kingdom stuff. This is, it's a Moana shirt, it's cute. And Craig is in his little Polynesian shirt too. Very cute. We're on our way to the bus stop. There's our Animal Kingdom bus. I love how it says Hakuna Matata on the front of it. Hakuna Matata. I love these Disney buses. I'm so excited to be at Animal Kingdom. Craig is saying that he thinks Animal Kingdom is the best park in terms of theming. Yeah. They are all themed incredibly well. Of course they are, I'm just saying. This is the outdoor boardroom. I mean, if, you, if, you're, if you're counting like Pandora, yeah, I guess. Hollywood Studios is about to have Star Wars World, well, yeah, so they're course. theming there. Yeah, it could change the game. It could completely change. I think it will. It's, it's going to be a game changer. The tree of life. Beautiful. <laughs> This has been pretty much our breakfast every day. Rice Krispie treats. So nutritious. Yeah. Got your marshmallows, you got your crispy treats. It tastes good and it's totally healthy. Can you hurry up because I want some? Nothing is better than this. Carly River Rapids. Five minutes standby. This is perfect. Craig has never done Carly River Rapids before. Yep. Never, never, never. It's good that Pandora is here. Everyone rushes there first thing in the morning. Oh, and Carly River Rapids is, yeah. <laughs> there was that time we came here last time we came. And it always gets refurbished in January. It mm. I think I think because it's just cold, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Well, Florida cold, but. Yeah, last time we came here, we were gonna go and do Pandora for extra magic hours. So we got here really early, but the line for Flight of Passage was so long that we decided, eh, no, let's not do that. Let's just go and do everything else. And we did like all of the main rides before the park even opened. It was so Ooh, good. <laughs> Craig, so excited. I thought it was gonna go on a bit longer. Yeah, it's it's quite a brief one. Yeah, it doesn't last true. very long. It lasts long enough. It's yeah, ideal yeah. for cooling down. Yeah. The awareness ride, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. It's like talking about the the problems with deforestation and like the destruction of the rainforests and jungles and things. It's quite sad when you go through it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Expedition Everest. All of the stuff in the line for Expedition Everest is stuff to do with the Yeti. So it's like. Please visit the Yeti Museum. And they got all these different things from all the different expeditions that have, there have been to find the Yeti. Paw prints and footprints. There's this footprint here, which is huge. Yes, I want to see the front. Front, 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 front. Again, we just asked if we could wait for the front row, and we did, and we were like the first ones on. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Here we go, front row! Oh <laughs> 
ever done we've got a fast pass for dinosaur which is one of my all-time favorite rides it's so yeah. good we've also got a flight of passage fast pass that we're gonna use today so yes this is so good i love animal kingdom here we go dinosaur i love the story of this one as well I mean, no, the movie was was pretty terrible but the story of this where you get in a time rover and you go back in time it's good Dinosaurus. Inside Dinosaur, there's three different coloured like pipes. Ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. I mean, it's some. I'm not sure what it is, but it has this area has some connection to McDonald's. You figured it out. McDonald's used to sponsor this ride. That's why there is tomato, mustard, and mayonnaise pipes. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm very glad we're at the front because the picture there is better. I will be putting my camera away. So I will catch you when we're out. So we're just making our way over to Pandora for Flight of Passage. And look who's in front of us, it's Kevin. She's so pretty. Look, it's Kevin. We are back in Pandora. Oh, it's stunning, stunning. Stunning are getting the night blossom. Ooh. I can't even explain how good this tastes. Cheers. It's so tasty. You're not eating the bubble. I know. Mm. Passion fruit flavour and they just pop in your mouth. Mm. Here we go, flight of passage. Are you excited? <laughs> This is like unreal, the best, so exciting, life changing, <laughs> seriously it is. We do still need to do the like the standard waiting line, we haven't waited in line for this yet and I really want to do it because they've got all the different things in the line that you are going to miss. The line experience is apparently amazing so I really want to do the line experience not just the fast pass lines. jungle especially when you are surrounded by trees and greenery and there's fish in there is there yep i see some fish 
We're gonna head towards the Kilimanjaro safaris. There's still a lot to do at Animal Kingdom. It's actually, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but it's the biggest park at Disney World. It's huge. I mean, there's the animals. So the animals need lots of space. We haven't looked at the otters either. We've got to go look at the otters. We need to see the otters. They're over there, aren't they? Yep. We're in the Harambe fruit and veg stop. We're going to pick up one of these, these Mickey pretzels right here. I'm going to grab one of these as well because this is my standard go-to, love it. But they've also got this like corn on the cob stuff that looks amazing, I really want to try it. We just had a little magic moment. And they gave us the corn. So good. For free. Now we have two corns and two pretzels to finish. We are at Kilimanjaro Safaris, Dole Whip in hand, ready to go. Twitter, it's an the best part of the the animals on the reserve. Happiness and do not see. I think I had like the stupidest dumb grin on my face the entire time. That's okay. It's very cute though. Um, that photo pass photographer though. <laughs> Two photos. Clip, clip. No, 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 no. If I was a photo pass photographer, I can guarantee you, yeah. you would have enough photos to last you a I lifetime. We are here at the Yak and Yeti restaurant behind me. Never eaten in here, but there's loads of Asian food and is it Asian? It's like pan Asian. What kind of food is this? What kind of cuisine is Asian? Yeah, they have. What do they have? What are you getting? Korean barbecue ribs. <laughs> I think what we should do is get like a load of the small plates just so we can try a load of stuff. I want to try as much as we can. No, I'm not wasting loads of money. We did that before when we got went to Pandora because we want to try everything, and then we ended up. Throwing up it away. Appetizers have just arrived. Yeah, dip it away. This is the wonton soup, but like a half portion, I think. Mm -hmm. And then these are the green beans. They're like battered green beans, and it comes with like a sweet teriyaki, not teriyaki, sweet chili. Sweet chili. That's the one. Sweet chili dip. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's really nice. Really good. Big has got the surf and turf right there. Steamed bok choy. And I've got the lemongrass chicken. Mm. Okay, so the food in here is really, really good. It is beginning to beat me though. <laughs> you done well. I am very, very, very full. We finished our food and I just wanted to get some of this stuff. The food was good. Did you love the food? It's like, yeah, amazing. I really want to come back. I then also tried to explain American money to Craig. You don't need to have this food. No, I did. Why? I did. Why? I asked him how many cents are in a dollar. He went... A hundred cents. I asked him why it took so long and he said, because I don't know what a cent is. So Yak and Yeti. Yeah. 
Very, very good. <laughs> Craig is really struggling with food. Baby. So much food. <laughs> it's so worth it. <laughs> Asian food I think I've ever eaten in my life, hands down. But I've been to a good few Asian restaurants. So the thing about Animal Kingdom is that it's such a big park that you may not actually get it all done in the first day. So you will have to come back. It's also, it takes like a good 15 minutes to get from one side of the park to the other. That's true. Festival of the Lion King. <laughs> Festival of the Lion King. We didn't do it last time we were here. We've done it before, but we didn't do it last time we were here. And it was a big regret, not a regret. But it would have been nice to have shown your mum Festival of the Lion King, because she would have absolutely loved that, I think. Oh, Definitely got a hat hair going on right now. It's bad. <laughs> this one does beat you up badly. Oh. 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 I'm okay. Gonna come off bruised. <laughs> Gonna be beaten and bashed. Ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> I am a fan of this ride.
Carl even gonna see me, but I really, really, really enjoyed being here at Animal Kingdom all day. It's been so nice. You literally can't see me at all. But being here at nighttime with all of the lights and everything. So we got the bus back to Disney Springs and we're gonna walk back from here and we've just seen that that is where Chicken Guy is. So Chicken Guy is somewhere we are gonna be heading later on next week Ooh, to test out the chicken and I think 22 different types of dip. It's gonna be good. So here we have the world's biggest Coca-Cola store. Got the Marvel store down there. I'm glad that they're here. <laughs> <laughs> Making an apple. Oh my god, look at the cake pot. Oh, I, know. Oh. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Good morning, it is almost 10 o'clock in the morning. We are heading to the malls today. It is a shopping day. We're meeting up with Serena from Living by Disney. So if you don't follow her already on Instagram, go check her out. I'll put links down below in the description so you can definitely go check her out. Um, and she's gonna take us around to the malls. I'm so excited. We're gonna go to the Disney store. We're gonna go to CVS and Hot Topic and Box Lunch. This is what I've been eating copper soup for for such a long time. So I've got money to spend at the mall. So we are gonna just finish up getting ready and we will pop out. Disney character warehouse. Serena is taking us to the places to get all of the calories. <laughs> yes, welcome to America. <laughs> yeah. We like to eat. <laughs> We're still just wandering around in the Florida Mall and I'm here with Serena. Serena, tell me a Hello. bit about yourself. Hi, so I live here in Orlando mm -hmm. and I'm a Disney World blogger. I kind of help people know whatever they need to know to have a really good Disney World vacation. Yeah. I'm gonna put all the links that you need down in the description down below. So do check it out, especially if you are planning a vacation anytime soon to Disney World. <laughs> we got some good bags of stuff. Lots of stuff. Well, that's that from the uh, the shopping in the Florida Mall. We did really good. It really good. We got a few bits. It's got a top for Universal, which we I can't wait to wear because <laughs> it's the little Berlin. It's the yeah, we did really, really good in the Disney outlet. I was very pleased with like what they had. Yep. 
Got a whole bunch of stuff from Box Lunch, which is great. Um, I got a new pop. Just one new pop. Yeah, we're all good. We got we went cakes to... from um, uh, Cake Boss. Is, yeah, is thing. I watch yes. Cake Boss and love it. Good, good day. And obviously, spending time with Serena, like quality time with Serena, really, really good. And Chloe, obviously, big love shout out to Chloe. Too. Chloe does loads of cosplay stuff, so you should check her out too. I will put links for Chloe down below. We didn't really catch much of her in, in this video, but yeah. And we got pop sockets for our phone, thanks to me. Yes, uh, I got this pop socket. I love that It's one. cute. <laughs> we both love this one, but I was like, mine, mine. But mine's a Mickey Blue. Mine's Sorcerer Mickey. These are made by someone, so uh, Serena gave me these, but they were made by someone, so I'll put the link, I'm putting loads of links in these descriptions, but I'll put the link for the, people, the person that makes these pop sockets down here in the description, so check it out if you are interested. Okie dokie, we had a really, really quick change, and now, quick change into this. I love this tea. This is one of the ones I picked up in Box Lunch just today. Love the whole meaning behind it, everything. I think it's just, it's, it's gorgeous, it's perfect. Craig has got his new little bag on. Show you his new bag, it's a new little Dumbo Loungefly backpack that was picked up in Hot Topic. And we're heading to Epcot because we haven't done much of the Flower and Garden Festival and obviously need to do some Flower and Garden Festival. We'll do some next week as well, but I know, but it'd be nice to do. Of course. There's only three hours left. We've made it back to Epcot. Yes, we have. And this is the first time we've been to Epcot in the daylight this trip. <laughs> it's always been night time. Always been? Yeah, that been one time. We only came on Monday. We need to try all of the snacks. Lots to do. You want one? Yeah, why not? Grab a little passport. Flower and garden passport. Yeah. I love the Epcot ball. It's our first stop in Epcot today because I love this tea, I need to showcase this tea. We are stopping by the bubblegum wall, so I will show you exactly where that is. It's right at the entrance of Epcot. As you can see, the ball is right here. We've just walked past it, and the bubblegum wall, where is it there? Is just here. It's by one of the exits of the ride, Spaceship Earth. Voila, it is here. <laughs> Da da, bubblegum wall. The guy, this is Madeline. Give yourself a shout out, girl. What do you want to do? I don't know. Okay. Yay! Oh, everyone says that. Everyone always says that. You're so tall. Do you want to get some pictures and then, like, because I wouldn't jump back in? We finished at the bubblegum wall. We picked up a pin. Because it's flower and garden, so we're never gonna get that again, so. We've managed to get some last minute reservations for dinner at the Coral Reef. This just here is 
where they have surprise characters just pop out every now and then through those gates. They just randomly open. It's the toothpaste wall. It looks different in the daylight, but it's really nice colour. So Craig is experiencing the pina colada for the first time. It's really, really good. The good thing about the pina colada is that it's available like everywhere. So if you're at a pool in a value resort and they've got a poolside bar, this is going to be on their menu for drinks and you have to get it. It's so good. But then you can also get it in restaurants like this. You can get it all over the park. So it's perfect. Amazing. Really, really good. Really, really good. Wasn't it good? Lovely. <laughs> it was very, very good food. And we're now just on the bus heading back to the Sour Good night. <laughs> Good night. Catch you in a bit. So it's our last night in the Saratoga Springs DVC resort tonight. We've packed up like pretty much everything we can possibly pack up back into our suitcases. We, we didn't do that much shopping today, but we clearly got enough that it's become a struggle. Tomorrow morning, we are heading over to the Wyndham Resort, so I'm very excited to see what that is like. Quite close to Universal, so we're gonna be using the Wyndham Resort as our excuse to go to Universal Studios and the Islands of Adventure. So really, really excited to see that stuff because Craig's never been to Universal. So I will see you guys in the morning. It's goodbye from Saratoga Springs. But we will say a proper goodbye to it tomorrow. That is it from DVC Resort Saratoga Springs. My suitcase has got very heavy. Yeah. We're making our way down to get an Uber. We're gonna get an Uber to the Wyndham on the iDrive, which is pretty close to Universal. And the Wyndham have invited us to stay, so Big thank you to the Wyndham. I'm very excited to see what our room is like and what the resort is like. I will put information about the Wyndham down in the description down below, so you can check it out if you want to check it out. Okie lily dokily, here comes our Uber. You ready for the Wyndham and Universal? Yes. Mm. Do, 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 do. Uber. Our room isn't ready yet, so we've just left our bags there. We're going to head straight over to Universal, and then we'll come back check out the room and I'll share all that stuff with you but right now let's get to Universal. I wonder how far? Do you think you could walk it? Uh, no. I mean we could probably walk it what but is this it? is America. We're in the Uber on the way to Universal. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to do Harry Potter. <laughs> that's all he cares about. I want to do and the everything. Hulk. The Hulk, Hulk, yes. But that's in Islands of Adventure. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, we'll have to do Universal Studios. Yeah. And then move over. Don't Hashtag ready world. for Universal. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to Universal Studios. And look at Craig, he's already in his Slytherin <laughs> tea. Yeah. That's from Box Lunch. I, 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 you guys know how much I love Disney. And I absolutely, really freaking love Disney. But I cannot express how excited I am to finally be back at Universal Orlando Resort. It is unreal. I'm so excited. The rides are incredible. This is going to be incredible. It's going to be busy this weekend as well. It will be busy, but it's going to be fine. City Walk. Voodoo Donut. Oh, that's like the famous one, isn't it? Yep. And look, they got a Voodoo Donut chair. This is um, this is open for two in the morning. There we go. It's open for a long time. They got all the Captain Marvel stuff as well. I'm very excited to be here. The cool thing is that they they can sell a load of Marvel merch because 
uh, Universal Orlando Resort has like they've got the theme park rights for Marvel, so they can have the Marvel rides. That's why they've got them. This is definitely like uh, um, like obviously Disney's like very family, and this is like full of like young adults. Yep. Teenage. Oh my god, that looks terrifying. That that's the Rip Rocket. <laughs> We've stopped off to get. I've got a giant peanut butter cup cookie. Craig has his Powerade. And what do we do? I love the music. Oh, they got the Beverly Hills sign. There's Hello Kitty. Mm. So the actual first stop that we're doing is the Rip Rocket. I'm so excited. I'm quite nervous. Why are you nervous? There's nothing to be nervous about. Look at that. It's nice and chilled and relaxed. Oh yeah. Craig bless him. Decided he desperately needed the toilet before he goes on the raft. <laughs> How funny. So I'm just stood here waiting. But it's so bright and it's so big here. There's the the Shrek ride is over there. We've got the Transformers ride just there. That's oh yeah, because they changed they got rid of Twister and they put the Jimmy Fallon ride, I think. I don't know. But yeah, so as soon as Craig's done, we're gonna do this one, the Rip Rocket. You're gonna have to forgive me for being like a hot sweaty mess because it is hot today. Very, very, very hot. So we've just got off the Rip Rocket, the Hollywood Rip Rocket roller coaster. And Craig, how was that? Well, I whited it out at the top, so put that into perspective. <laughs> you almost passed out. <laughs> so good. It's better than anything at Thought Park or Alton Towers or anything. If you are a thrill seeker and love roller coasters, Universal, it's the way to go. Okay, so we are making our way around to the mummy. Oh, Marilyn. Action! Okay, so there's a slight problem with our express passes, so we're gonna have to go back to guest services to get them fixed or something. I don't know, I don't understand how it works. And then we're gonna go back to the mummy. Uh, it's very different here, like in, in terms of like, you can't have a bag, bags on your on the rides and stuff. You've gotta put them in lockers beforehand. They've got free lockers that you can use, which are tiny, so we're like cramming Craig's bigger bag into these tiny lockers just to get on the ride. Is that Hagrid's new ride? Uh, no, Hagrid's ride is, is in Islands of Adventure. Okay, our express passes are sorted. We're heading straight back to the mummy to get onto the mummy. And then we're going to try and do as much as we can, like around here, really quickly. And then hop on the Hogwarts Express at King's Cross. So excited. The mummy was great. What did you think of the mummy, Craig? Yeah, really good. I loved it. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> So where's Hogsmeade? Um, so one is in this park, right? Hogsmeade isn't in in this park. The Diagon Alley is in this park. Just, just okay. roll with it, Craig. Go on, lift it. <laughs> higher, higher and higher. So we are heading over to King's Cross. Uh, we're going to go back home. And we're going to hop on the Victoria Line. Go back to Chingford. <laughs> ah, do you imagine? <laughs> God, that was ten be hours. <laughs> On the two. Oh. Oh. I do want to do Fast and Furious Supercharge because I've not done that. There's a load of new stuff here that I've not done before that I really want to try out. Um, we have to go over to do The Simpsons at some point. Yeah. And do... I want a Krusty Burger. Oh yeah, obviously. So we're heading over to Harry Potter now so that I can capture everything that happens to Craig. <laughs> He's gonna love it.
Bunu diyor ki ben tamam kızım. inside honey dukes right now there is honey dukes everything i want to get myself a chocolate frog because it's like a tradition of mine to always go away with the chocolate frog i'll probably get a cut like a couple of these before i go home because i want to get loads of different cards um it's really cool in here so let's just look around and let's find craig i've lost craig somewhere i found craig you're getting that? Felix Felicis, liquid luck! Ooh! Oh my goodness, I'm living what is, every fan I want one. Okay, I feel really, really dizzy after that ride. We're making our way out of the Whistling World of Harry Potter now. We want to yeah, try and get onto some water rides or something to cool down because this weekend it is really hot. It is hotter than I can explain. Dum 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 Do you remember when we went to, was it London Zoo and they had that like Jurassic yes. experience and it was like dum 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 They'd slightly changed it to, to try and get away with it but it was obviously a complete rip of Jurassic World. This is going to be good, we're going to do some nice... Weird hearing that music and you can see Hogwarts Castle through there. <laughs> A little bit, yes. Okay, we're about to meet Blue, the raptor. I'm very, very, very excited. So, let's go do this. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so let's get used recording. to Kenny. Now, guys, we're gonna walk towards a vicious predator. And what we're gonna want to do uh, that one. as we approach, <laughs> snap it or just hold down the button. Down the Come on over. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Hey, no, 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 no. That's not yours. <laughs> Sir, what's in your bag? What? There is some food. There is some, food. There is some food. She's gonna keep going for it. You need to tell her to leave it. Leave it. All right, great job, aboard, gentlemen, aboard. Get the heck out of there! Get out of there! There you go. We just met Blue. That was cool. Terrible. It was cute. Very cute. I love Blue. We are making our way. We are gonna get wet. Wet, 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 wet. Right, we are moving on from Jurassic Park to oh, Kong. I, we wanted to, I wanted to do Kong. So it's very, 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 very hot today. And to stop us from passing out and forgetting to drink, we, it, it was really, really good. The absolute tip. I'm, it's only valid for a day or until 2 a.m. But we picked this up for uh, 15 99 this bottle. And you can just refill it everywhere in the park. Anywhere there's a restaurant, you can go in and, and refill it. So it's really encouraging us to keep drinking, which is ideal. It's definitely what you need. Now heading into Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Last time I was here was about four years ago. And they were building this. So this is all brand new. I have never experienced this before. I love money. But I love King Kong. So let's give this a go. Yeah, apparently this is very good. I'm excited to see. I love this movie. Did you like it, Jack Black? Yeah, I loved it. I cried. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen King Kong or know the end, he dies. I did not know. I sound really dumb, but I didn't know. I know, but I didn't know. Anyway, so I see this film, fall in love with King Kong, and then he dies at the end. Yeah. I cried for a good solid half hour. I had to phone a friend to discuss it, and they had to console me. So I genuinely have no idea what to expect from this ride, but I'm very, very, very excited to see what it's like. 
hope they don't cry. I didn't know this was going to be a goal climbing in the truck. situation. Be sure to so. secure all those items, including guessing it's 4D. Okay, I'm glad I went in there with no idea what I was getting in for. It was really good. You were on a tour thing of like the movie set, which is like on location, and you're attacked by dinosaurs, and Kong turns up and saves the day. But it's it was really, really good. Yeah, it was cool. Really good. And the huge animatronic at the end of, of yeah, Kong. You don't know where to look. It's, yeah, I didn't know where to look. When everything was going on, because go, there's stuff going on on both sides of the, the vehicle you're in. Very immersive. Really good. Toon Lagoon, here we are. Are you feeling brave? We are about to get very wet. Alright, well, I'm a bit wet. How are you doing? My shoes are bubbling. <laughs> yeah, very squelchy, squelchy. Yeah, I managed to get the valve. I didn't even look, I had my eyes closed the whole time. What do you want? I want to get my wand from all around it. Go, Kalido, Kalido. And you want to do with that in Diagon Alley? Yeah. You. <laughs> okay. Slytherin. Yeah, Slytherin out. <laughs> I want to go in free room. <laughs> this is it. Beef pasty. Ooh, with garden salad. And set of pie. Ooh. Stay there until I say come. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Okay, come. I love how you're like, I don't know what to look at. <laughs> love it. Where's Nocturne Alley? <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Are you kind of in the leafy hole? No. There's Nocturne Alley. Do you want to go down there? Yeah. Go 
Morgan and Burks. <laughs> Undesirable number one. Finally. Or go to number 20. He's so cute. <laughs> That's nice. Bikini. Wanted. Bellatrix. Bellatrix the Strange. I kind of vote for Gringotts. Come on, yeah. What? Gringotts. Let's do Gringotts. Yeah. That is based on Leyden Hall Market in London. We went there. It was cool. I was waiting for the dragon. No, the light, the fan. <laughs> Fire pollution protection. It's amazing. It's huge. Look at the tellers. about to go down into Gringotts Bank, or as the Americans call it, Gringotts. <laughs> yeah. Did you like that ride? I love that ride. It was a good ride. And Bellatrix Lestrange and Voldemort. Voldemort, Voldemort, ooh, Vold, 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 Voldemort. Crusty land. Should we do it? Let's do it. Going on the Simpsons ride. I went on this, I think it was like the first week it opened. When I came in 2008. It was a long time ago, but I was really, really excited about it when it first opened. Like, really excited. Right, so, Simpsons ride is not the one for us. No, it's awful. Oh god. Not because it's an awful ride, but because if you want to feel like you're going to vomit, then go on it. <laughs> oh, we get, I, well, I get really, really bad motion sickness. Craig gets pretty bad motion sickness. Yeah. And it's a simulator ride. Roller coasters but it's are like, fine. It's simulators that are horrible. Yeah. Oh, there's Krusty Burger. We'll go back tomorrow and get a Krusty Burger or something. Look, there's the big donut, the lard lad donut. Yes, it's a very, very cute little area though, the Simpsons oh, area. We go, we're heading out of Universal. So what's their, what's their main hotel? They've, I think they've got like three, maybe four now. Oakley Doakley, so we have just checked in to our room. The room is really big. Well, not really big, but it's big. It's, it's, it's big enough. Am I burnt? Oh god, I'm burnt. Yeah, oh no. Oh. Let me see. I mean, it looks redder on camera. Yeah, <laughs> Damn. Okay. Right. We have checked into the room. The room is big. I'm going to show you around. But first, look at this. There's like a fruit basket here for me. Or for us. How cute! And there's this here, Mr. Gage. These are nice, these rooms. This is cute. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. But it's nice. Look how... It's... Ooh. It's bright. The bed is huge. The bed is... It looks really comfy. <laughs> oh my god. It is looking comfy. Oh, good. Oh, that's nice. And the pillow is huge. Oh, I like this. This is good. This is a good bed. Greetings, Mr. Gage. Very good bed. Mm. Very much thank you to the Wyndham for inviting me along to stay. Love the bed. Very comfy. Uh, so we've got, I'm just going to show you around. Nice big mirror. 
There's a nice big TV. I like it water. We've got a whole bunch of water there. Oh, this is a couple nice of bottles water. of water. Two bottles of Voss. The, I, I'm I'm just glad that there's a fruit there's a fruit bowl. Look at the size of the seriously the size of the strawberries in America. It's ridiculous. It's huge. Like strawberries back home are not this big. Do 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 do. Little chair. Charging points. What do they have? Okay, the standard charging things. We'll get the extension lead out. And we'll be fine. We have a balcony and AC. Ooh. Balcony overlooks another little lake with a There's fountain. A pool over there. The pool's over there. This really is nice. sweet. You, be nice in the day. Hmm. Very nice. And then we have like the, the bicycle, like there. Um, do do do. We have the bathroom here. It's cute, cozy size. Standard shower. Do, do, do. Soap, bath stuff, Ooh, nice of... mirror. I'm, at, I'm not that burnt, it's just a no. smidgen pink. It's okay. okay. Iron and ironing board. Okay. Oh, and extra pillows. I love me some extra pillows. And <laughs> no one's ever gonna need this. We're in Florida. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Uh, if you, if, just in case you get cold, there's an extra blanket. Plenty of hangers to hang your clothes. Nice. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Yes. Yes. Oh, we are now just chilling and watching Dateline. Dateline NBC. Dateline NBC. I used to like the, to catch, the Dateline NBC to catch a predator. Yeah, that was a good so show. Good. I really love American TV. Ooh, ooh, who do we get? Godric Gryffindor. Ugh. Didn't I have him already? Yeah, I think so. Oh. We're gonna get some more chocolate frogs to bring home. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Hmm? Oh, I don't wanna eat it now. No. No, no, no. It was like $7 in an Uber to get here from, from yeah. Universal. It's cheap. It's really, really cheap. So it's really, really close by to Universal Orlando Resort. Really, really close by. There's loads of other things nearby as well. So there's loads of shops and shopping. Shops, dining. They've got the Icon Park, which is almost a walk away, but it's a little bit too far of a walk away. It's got like Madame Two Swords there. They've got some rides and like attractions, little mini attractions. There's Sea Life. I'm clearly very, very tired. Um, I'm going to sign off here and say thank you very much for watching this this vlog. I will catch you in the next one next week on Friday. So if you liked this, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below because I love reading your comments. And we will both see you next week. Bye guys. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe.